He is one of the best in the world, a top 10 chess player. And now he's calling our town home. There is no better place to be than St. Louis. In tonight's Show Me Success, the man not only traded cities, but countries to follow his passion. The stillness, the intense concentration, the strategy. 26 years ago, chess helped save this little boy. When I was nine years old, my mom died. From the dark emotions of grief. I became more into chess at that point. It was like a refuge for me uh, at that point in my life. Born and raised in Cuba, he went to the local chess clubs, played in youth tournaments, and by his teens, he'd arguably made it. I became a grandmaster when I was 17. A grandmaster, the highest title in chess, and he was the Cuban champion five times. But he wanted more, and Cuba wasn't cutting it. For reasons we don't even think about. You want to have a good coach or, or a good player that you can train with. You use Skype, you need to have a, a good internet connection which here seems so normal, right? It's not, not really a problem, but in Cuba it was a problem. In 2016, Linier moved his family to Miami. <laughs> and moved his loyalty as well. Okay. Leaving the Cuban Chess Federation and joining the U.S. Chess Federation. I gave my best to Cuba and I, I want to give my best now to the U.S and hoping to do it someday on a world stage. Now I'm number uh, three, I think, in the U.S. So the Olympics could be? Could be an option, yeah. It could be, could be on the table for me, and I'm really looking forward to it. A campaign has been launched to add chess to the 2024 Olympics in Paris, giving Linier plenty of time to practice and make another major move. There is no better place to be than St. Louis. Three weeks ago, the chess champ officially became a St. Louisan for one single reason. The chess capital of the world. And home to the St. Louis Chess Club in the Central West End, where the Sinkfield Cup, one of the most prestigious chess tournaments in the world, is held, and where top international players often come for a pickup game. For sure, I'm now more motivated than ever to, to work on my chess and to do it here in St. Louis. Ranked 10th in the world and determined our city is the key to continued success. Now his ultimate goal is to be ranked among the top five chess players in the world. And for any amateur chess players out there, he says the three things you must have to succeed in that game are passion, a good memory, and the ability to overcome defeat. If you have a show me success story, let me know. Send me an email at aallred at ksdk.com.